I remember way back in the midst of time when Photoshop released layers. And at the time, everyone said, oh, wow, it's great, it's a miracle. And I went, well, so what? The reason being is I didn't quite understand what they were. They're very, very useful. Let's go over what they are now. Now, a layer can be one of a number of different things. Let's go through them. At the moment, this image, if we come over to our layers palette, there's just one layer here. That's the background. Any image you open up inside Affinity Photo is going to be called background. But if you double click, you can rename it to whatever you want. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to duplicate. Now it's still called base, but if I double click again, let's call this my new layer. Now at the moment, it's just sitting right on top of the layer underneath. It doesn't really do anything different. I can make the layer inactive by clicking my little tick mark next to it. Well, at the moment, you don't see anything. But if I come to my move tool and I move it, I can adjust the size of it. I can adjust the size of it any way I want. And if I get that little curved arrow, I can rotate it like that. There we go. Now, if I make it invisible, you can see it's sitting on top of my original layer. If I come back to my move tool, I can move it to wherever I want. And you notice you get basically transparency around it. Look, if I come to my erase brush tool here like this, and let's make it a little bit bigger as well. I can erase parts of this layer so it becomes invisible, like that. I can also take my new layer and I can adjust the opacity of it. I can make it completely invisible and I can gradually increase the opacity so it's partially visible. Can you start to see some of the power of this now? Or I can make it completely visible. All right, now let's get a bit ahead of ourselves now. Let's try changing the layer blend mode from normal, as you would expect to see it. But if you start to go through some of these layer blend modes, you start to see it interacts with the layer underneath in a different way. Take a look at that color burn. You're getting these intense colors. Now you can still move this around, and you can still resize it, and you can still rotate it, but because it's in a different layer blend mode, oh, there you go, you can also shear it. Because it's in a different layer blend mode to what went before, it interacts with the layer underneath in a different way. Now you can stack layers. You can actually create a layer down here called Add Pixel Layer. At the moment, it's just completely blank. You can do whatever you want with it. Look, you can come to your paintbrush tool, and you can paint on this new layer. And when you do that, you can move it around. You can resize it. You can stack layers on top of each other. Supposing I wanted a different color sky there. There's no reason I couldn't take another photograph, stick it on top of here, erase out the bits that I didn't want and have a different colored sky. That's some of the power of layers. Let's get these two layers here and let's just get rid of them. There's another kind of layer as well, an adjustment layer. So instead of in my layers palette, I come to my adjustment layers palette. And supposing I want to have, say, a levels adjustment here, I can make the layer lighter or darker. I can make the various color adjustments, which I have covered in another tutorial. And I can adjust pretty much what I want. I'm going to make this fairly extreme because I want to illustrate a point here. And then when I come back to my layers palette, bang, look, I've got a levels adjustment layer sitting on top of my original base layer. And I can make it invisible. I can make it visible again. If I come back to my adjustment layer as well, again, I'm really exaggerating things here to make a point color balance. So supposing I wanted, say, the highlights to be much more blue. Wow, I'm getting quite a strong effect here. All right, we'll just leave it at that. Come back to my layers palette, and now, as well as my levels adjustment layer, I have my color balance adjustment layer. Now, I can make that completely transparent, or I can fade part of it in, or I can fade all of it in. I can try making it invisible. 
I can make the levels adjustment layer invisible. Okay, I'm gonna get way ahead of myself now. Let's go to my levels adjustment layer. I'm gonna come down where it says mask layer. I'm gonna click on it and you can see I get two little squares. I get my original square, I get another one. I'm going to click on that. Then I'm gonna to come to my paintbrush. I'm gonna check my color. Black is the color I want and look what happens now. Using black, I'm painting on the layer mask and I'm painting out certain areas of my levels adjustment layer, like this. Now, if I decide I don't like that, that's not a problem. Get some white on my brush and I can paint the adjustment layer back in. These are layer masks. These are so powerful. These are one of the main things professional photographers use to really harness the power of these modern photo editing programs. You do it all the time in Photoshop. You do it all the time in just about any software package. Now, layer masks, that's way outside the scope of an introductory tutorial like this. But I suggest you subscribe to my channel because I'm putting together a course which will probably be called Affinity Photo Solid Foundations. And I'll be covering layer masks along with layer blend modes and a whole heap of other stuff as well. I'll probably be releasing it on udemy.com Subscribe to my channel and I will make announcements when the course is ready. So for now, I hope you've got a more of an idea of what a layer is. A layer is just something you stick on over the top of your original photograph to make adjustments. That's all it is. And if you want to see some more examples, you might also want to check out another video in this series all about the five things you should consider doing to any photograph in order to improve it.